Welcome to my kitchen and today we're going to explore the mystery of the face. I'm going to show you how you can get from this to this in a few short minutes. It, when we're cooking in the kitchen, kids want to learn, know how to do things in school. So you'll know, you'll have the tools to be able to teach them how to draw. First of all, we have to look at the face. Right here is our wide point with our cheekbones. And it's about kind of like symmetrical. It's different for every person. We're just going to do generic today. So we're going to draw, we're going to do the middle of the face and then we're going to kind of go in as our forehead goes in and then our cheekbones kind of go in a little bit and that's our midpoint. And that's where our eyes go. So we're going to, they're about an eye width apart. So we're going to draw the amount of about five eyes across. We're going to draw a little bit of an almond shape, a little bit more rounded towards the center. And then we're going to do kind of like a little bit of a saucer shaped underneath, like that. And then for the lower lashes, we're going to do a little bit of this comes out a little bit, a little bit of the, um, like where the eye shuts and the lashes are attached to the outer part. And so we're just going to want to make the lashes a little bit uneven. And then we're going to do the upper part of the lashes. And the lashes do shade the eye, so this is going to be a little darker right here. And these lashes also kind of go towards the outside of the face. And they're going to be a little bit uneven because they all grow in at different times. And then the iris is kind of more like parentheses. So we're going to draw that in like that. And then the pupil is in the middle, but the eye is so shiny. We're going to give, we're going to mark out our reflection lines because since it's so shiny, it's very glossy and then it's kind of like a wagon wheel around the outside of the iris. So we have like a few little lines going out like that. We're going to just skip where we want our little highlight to be. And we're going to go around on this one too. And um, you can have the, the reflections be in different parts of the eye because that's how it really is. The eye does reflect different things like whatever light is in the room. Like that. So we've got our nice little eyes and we do have this tear duct right here too. You can kind of um, go shade around like the whites are not really really white but usually we like to keep them pretty white. I'm going to do like that. So we've got our nice eyes. Now where do we put those eyebrows? Well it's easy if we just draw a heart. So we're going to draw a heart on this face like that and then the eyebrows start about where the tear duct is and they go straight up and then they start pointing to that butt edge of the face also and they're going to go out to the edge of the eye, a little past the edge of the eye like that. So now we have a pretty good looking person right here. And the bottom of the heart is going to be where the lips are. And this is perfect because the bottom lip does smile. And we can draw the top part of the bottom lip. And it's a little bit like a little bit like a volcano. And the top part is even more like a volcano and it falls a little short of the lower lip. So you can make that even. And then we're going to put the shadows in and it's a little bit highlighted right there and right there and right there. And this is just generic lighting. Of course it would be different with whatever lighting you're in. This is just like a generic face. Since the top lip is usually a little bit in shadow, we're going to do the lighter parts a little bit darker. And we'll have the bottom of the lip a little bit lighter. Like that. Now this part, the um, above the lip, is a little bit shaped like a teardrop, so you're going to draw that in, and then you can draw the nose right in on top of that. And this is kind of like a soup bowl. 
with a few, with a couple teardrops on the side. And those teardrops are where we breathe, so we're going to shade those in really nice and dark. And then this part of the nose is often highlighted, it's like an oval. And then there's teardrop shapes right here too, where the nostrils flare out. And so this edge of the, novel, the um, oval right there is where we would do our connection line to the eyebrow. And we would erase this part of the heart right there. And one side of the face is going to be a little more in shadow, but the brow bone, the little oval right here and right here, is usually always stays in highlight. So you know you can do a little bit of shadow right there. And you can come down and the nose is really, unless you're looking at it sideways, it really is just a shadow. So you do want to keep that kind of light. This upper part of the eye, though, can be a dark line. Underneath the nose can be a dark line. And then this can be a dark line. And can give this probably going to be a girl. Give her a little darker eyelashes. But you always want to make sure and do it uneven. Okay. Now, for the chin, it's going to be an oval shape here too. And then we can start connecting the dots of underneath the chin and connecting to the jawline. Like that. And we did this heart earlier, but we're going to draw another heart to underneath the nose. We're, this is going to give us our shadow for our cheekbones. We're going to do a little bit of a volcano shape like this, starting above the nostrils and going to a little bit outside of where the mouth is. And that is going to be our shadow line for underneath our cheek. So on the dark side, you could do a little darker. And on the light side, we do a little bit lighter. And then, of course, on the sh edge of the face, it's always shadowed. And we'll do a little shadow under here and over here. And we'll give this person a hairline. And this is going to be like the top of an egg, like that. And this hairline is going to be about as big as the chin. So that's another little guideline. This shadow up here is I'm going to make a little U, and we can shadow in this side of the face and a little bit of this side of the face and a little bit along the edges too. Now the neck is going to go about on a girl to the outside of the iris. For a boy, his neck is a little wider, so you could go out to the edge of the eyes. Now for the ears, the top of them are at the eye level, and it's kind of like a little bit of a peanut shape. And then at the bottom of the nose is the other one, you're going to draw in some shadow lines. Everybody's ears are a little bit different, but you can kind of do a generic look with a few placed like C shapes. And then we're going to erase this guideline again. Because if we have too many guidelines in, it just makes this person look old. But you can play with this and, oh, we forgot to give her above the eye. So we're going to give this eye lid. There you go. And next, after that, you get this all done, you're going to do your hair. And how you do your hair is you'll do segmented shapes. You'll shade in the both ends and around the edges and then add a few lines in between and there you have your face made so easy your kids are going to be so impressed with you thank you so much for joining me